In this video we're going to construct a square. The first thing I would do is create a line segment with my line segment tool right here and click for two points A and B. Then I would scroll up here and use my circle with a center through a point tool. Here I'll choose to have my center at A with a radius of B. If I need to zoom in or out I can do that by scrolling up or down. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a perpendicular line through point A and perpendicular to line AB. So what do I do? Well, I go over here, select my perpendicular line tool. First, and it tells you right here, I select the point and the line. So here's my point. Here's the line that I need to be perpendicular to. And it creates the line. I'm going to do the same thing over here through point B in perpendicular to line and I hover over notice it highlights the line AB and now I'm almost done over here I select my intersect to objects tool and I want to intersect my perpendicular line and my circle hover over here and I create point C and now what I do is select the parallel line tool um, I want to select the point C and I want it to be parallel to line AB and it creates this line right here go back and select my intersection tool hover over until I see both lines intersecting and create point D now you don't want all this showing for your square so what you do now is create your polygon I'll have the square be ABCD and I'll go in that order A B, C, oh, I went in the wrong order, sorry, A, B, D, C. I should have thought about that. Uh, but of course you can rename them and change the order. And it creates that polygon. Now what I want to do is over here in the algebra view, I can quickly hide objects by clicking these circles. Uh, and of course there's a tool for that as well. Here you can have a checkbox to show or hide objects on the screen that's interactive. But over here, I'm just going to hide the circle. We don't need that. We also don't need our perpendicular lines anymore either. So I'm going to get rid of those lines as well. So here, we don't need line E, right? We don't need line D or line C, oh, circle C, excuse me, or line B. And there we have it. Now I can also get rid of the other lines as well if I want to line segment AB and here I have my circle. So now I have a circle, right, which I can move around, uh, a circle. Now I have a square, excuse me, which I can move around and use. All right, hope this helped.